This is a Sears Silvertone arch top from I think about 1952. Um, this particular model is the green, metallic green with a, a kind of a white or a cream color. Um, you can see from it that uh, it's showing its age. The back side is uh, paint's worn off from playing it. I got this. I, I got this guitar when I was uh, 14 years old, about 1962. So it was about 10 years old. I paid $25 for it, and uh, I've since found an ad from the catalog from the 50s, and they cost 25 brand new. So I paid more than I should have for it. But small town, small music store. I, I had no idea what the value was. Um, it plays good. It has always played pretty good. Uh, I gave it away when I went in the army to a young man that I was showing how to play and he gave it to my brother when he got a flat top and later about 20 years or so later I asked my brother for it and he said get it out of my closet so I got it back and started to tune it and the plastic tuners just broke off so since then I put on I, I, when I got to fixing it up again I put on metal tuners and uh, they they quite adequately do the job and make it a fine little guitar. I'm gonna play a few licks for you so you can see what it sounds like. Um, if you're if you like old silver tones and you're thinking about getting one, let me see if you can get a little better look at this. The headstock, the front of it, sides and back. Um, you can put a, a Diarmon style pickup system on it that slides on a runner and uh, can turn it into a, an electric if you want to. I, when I first got it I, I couldn't afford electric guitar so that, that's what I did with this if I wanted to play with a, a, a groove and, uh, and it worked fine. I've still got the old pickup but all the wires and stuff have kind of rotted so it's not doing me much good right now. Um, they made this in a, uh, a metallic blue also and what Sears did, uh, or whoever made it for Sears, was they copied what Chevrolet was doing at the time. And they had a metallic green and a metallic blue car, kind of like the old Bel Airs and stuff, which were a little bit later than that. But uh, So they, they just kind of modeled that and made this, this uh, I don't know if you'd call it a hot rod looking guitar or whatever, but uh, I, I think it's cool. It's the only serial term I've ever had, but... Uh, I was glad to be able to get it back. Here's what it sounds like. It's got kind of a, the strings uh, have a lot of nice overtones and although because it's plywood it's not uh, solid tops or anything like that. It's a fairly uh, bright sounding uh, guitar. It doesn't have uh, any bass to it but uh, it's got a good good sound to it and for what it does. <laughs> Hit a note, see if you can hear the overtones. constantly you see old silver tones and stuff on eBay if you ever see one like this I think it's a cool guitar you might want to pick one up <laughs> 